Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Chuan. Today we are going to learn about the platypus, a very cute animal. The platypus is an ancient and amazing mammal. When scientists first brought it to Europe, many academics refused to believe that this was a real animal. Instead, they thought the specimen was fake. It looks weird in many ways. First, it has webbed feet, feet like those of a duck. But each foot has five toes, kind of like otter's feet. Its whole body doesn't look like any other animal. If we have to make a comparison, it is like the look of a squash otter or beaver. And it also had a very exaggerated flat tail. The tail is also thick. The most surprising, almost comical part is the duck-like mouth. That's why platypus got its nickname, duckbill. Its head looks like some kind of bird. Therefore, scholars at the time believed that the specimen was a hoax. It was not until later when the living platypus was found, as technology developed and media applications matured, people gradually learned that this is a real animal. The platypus is an ancient animal. This animal can't even be called a true mammal. It belongs to the order Monotremata, which are the old and early ancestors of mammals. This group can be traced back to the age of dinosaurs. It retains a lot of features from its ancestors in the age of dinosaurs. The first is the mouth. This is a look rarely seen among living mammals. First, its head appears ancient. Its mouth looks like a duck's beak, but its internal structure is completely different. The bones inside the mouth of the platypus are like a pair of pliers, kind of like what many beetles have in their front, a shape supported by two bones. Its surface is covered by a layer of soft skin. This is a feature that shows high adaptation to aquatic life. Its limbs have evolved into fins and developed webs. This is also an adaptation to the aquatic environment. Besides, the platypus also has other primitive features. First, it lays eggs, which is different from modern mammals. We know that modern mammals give birth to cubs directly, and in childhood females will lactate milk with their breasts to feed their cubs. But the platypus does not follow this pattern. The platypus is an egg-laying mammal. It lays eggs, and after the eggs are hatched, the cubs still feed on the female's milk. Its milk feeding is unlike other animals that have nipples so that the cubs can suck, but it releases the milk throughout the pores on its belly like perspiring for the cub to lick. This type of feeding is another primitive feature. In addition, there is a stinger inside its hind feet. Although this spur is not very poisonous, it nevertheless is a powerful weapon. Such structure could be found in the ancestors of mammals in the age of dinosaurs. For example, Arboroharamia also had stingers like this on its foot. Anyway, the platypus is a weird animal. Most animals as old as the platypus had died out. Nowadays, only the platypus and its close relative, the echidna, can be seen in Australia, where these ancient animals survive. On other continents, these animals have completely disappeared. The above description concludes the introduction about the platypus.